Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video, we're going to be talking about cable lugs. After watching this video, you will get a brief overview on what is a cable lug, the different types of cable lugs and their features and applications. Let's start by understanding what is a cable lug. A cable lug is a very simple component that is used to connect an electrical wire or cable to an electrical component, equipment or a termination point. Cable lugs are made out of conductive materials like copper, aluminium and are designed to create a secure, mechanically strong and electrically conductive connection between the conductor and the component it is being connected to. Cable lugs are used in a variety of situations where a strong and lasting electrical connection is necessary. But directly connecting the conductor to the equipment is not practical. This could be due to limited space, different conductor sizes or types. Now let's look at the different types of cable lugs. The first and most common are the copper lugs. Copper lugs are ideal for large gauge applications for drawing power or for earthing. One end of the cable lug takes the cable by soldering, welding or crimping, depending on the type of lug used. The other end of the copper lug is secured to a matching termination or connection point by a bolt, screw or a spring clip. Thus, the wire can be soldered or crimped to each copper lug. These lugs are excellent for any outdoor application or even in marine environments. They are known for interconnecting heavy gauge power cables to bus bars, relays, batteries, solar power inverters, power cables and earthing devices. Next, let's look at aluminium lugs. These lugs are manufactured from solid aluminium rods using high conductivity 99.5% pure aluminium. They are forged directly from solid material and are suitable for outdoor use as the palm ends are completely sealed. The aluminium lugs are usually supplied with jointing compounds in the barrels and sealed with an end cap. So which one do you think is better? Copper lugs or aluminium lugs? Let me help you with this. Copper lugs are better. They have more conductivity as compared to aluminium lugs, but they are more expensive. Due to these low prices, aluminum wires and lugs are used in many wiring systems. Now, let's move on to another type of lug, bimetallic lug. Bimetallic lugs are made using friction welding using a copper palm and an aluminum barrel. As a result, the aluminum conductors touch the aluminum barrels and the copper bus bar touches the copper palm. To prevent oxidation, these lugs barrels are also filled with oxide inhibiting compounds which improves contact properties and enables smooth electrical connection. Bimetallic lugs are used to terminate aluminum conductors onto copper bus bars and therefore they are often used in control panels, switch gears and combiner boxes in solar plants. They are used majorly to prevent corrosion and to ensure longevity of equipment. If you want to learn more about bimetallic lugs, we have a detailed blog on them. The link will be in the description of the video. Now let's talk about insulated lugs. These lugs have a layer of insulation surrounding the connection point and this protects against electrical shocks, short circuits and other potential hazards. Insulated lugs can be either mechanical or crimping lugs. Now let's talk about crimping lugs. Crimping lugs use a cold welding or compression process to secure the conductor within the lug's barrel. The conductor is inserted into the lug and a crimping tool is used to apply pressure deforming the lug's barrel around the conductor, creating a strong, gas-tight and electrically conductive bond. Crimping lugs are generally not reusable as the crimping process permanently deforms the lug's barrel around the conductor. If a crimped connection needs to be changed or adjusted, the lug must typically be cut off and replaced with a new one. You can have a closer look at the crimping process in our video. The link is in the description. These lugs are generally used where a permanent connection is required over a long period of time. Therefore, you will generally see them in automobile wire systems, electrical boxes, machinery, household appliances, electronics, and other durable goods. Generally, you will also see them insulated with rubber or plastic in small applications. 
Now, let's talk about mechanical lugs. Mechanical lugs are different from crimping lugs in such that they use a set screw, a compression nut or some other kind of clamping mechanism to secure the conductor within the lug's barrel or opening. The conductor is inserted into the lug and tightened with a wrench or a torque tool according to the manufacturer's torque specification. Mechanical lugs can often be reused as they can be loosened, removed and retightened onto a new conductor. This makes them suitable for applications where frequent changes or adjustments may be required. But mechanical lugs can also come with a shear head screw, which shears off after it meets a certain torque requirement. This makes them a permanent lug. Lastly, let's talk about solder lugs. These lugs require soldering the conductor to the lug, creating a strong and electrically conductive connection. Solder lugs are not reusable and require soldering iron for installation. I hope you can now choose the correct lug based on your requirement. Always remember, the strength and design of lugs are crucial for electrical safety. Access cable lugs are tested as per IEC 61238, UL486A and UL486B and undergo many tests like the tensile test, electrical aging test, resistance and electrical conductivity test. You can watch all of these tests being performed on our channel. Axis copper lugs have an electrical conductivity of 99% IACS, indicating that the raw material used has high conductivity and pure copper material. At Axis, we manufacture and supply a wide range of cable lugs. Our solutions are used for solar projects, in addition to Indian railways and metro projects. If you have any questions about cable lugs and their applications, please share your feedback and queries in the comment section below. Like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about cable lugs, lightning protection and grounding systems along with other videos about electrical engineering. I'll see you in the next video.